scene, Ireland Baldwin made headlines when she posted a racy photo of herself on social media. Mm. Her father, Alec, made just this simple comment, no, just no. Which is interesting it to is interesting. us. Because we want to take you back down memory lane. Alec, Alec, Alec if you're listening, Alec Baldwin. When you called your daughter Peggy. Thank you. Okay, you remember that? I remember, we remember that. I remember, I remember, remember that. Do you remember? I, remember. I remember that. It was a okay. really long voicemail message where he called her all sorts of names. Mm -hmm. So this is my thing about like social media. It's like, you're not even really controlling the private media, Alec. Yes. I'm worried about social media. Exactly. But to me, it's also interesting because he also gave an interview. Well, he did one of those like coffee and comedians and cars things. Mm -hmm. And in that, he, Alec Baldwin seemed to be very confused about what Me Too, yeah. the Me Too movement wasn't about, about sexual harassment. He literally said something like, um, my wife, how do I know if I can hug my wife? What? And I was like, well, if you don't know that, Alec, yeah. um, I, oh, you need me. more help than we have time on me time for. Yeah. We can't, we can't really. But I think these things are connected. Yeah, You they know are. what I mean? Like not being able to see, you know, not being able to, you're, she's an adult. She's yes. over 20, right? right she's right, like 21 right. or 22 years yeah, old. Yeah, I think she might be 21, 22. Yeah, but you know what? And here, we're going to talk about it even more. That's because right. The question is, is it ever okay for parents to follow their kids, grown or not, on social media? All right. Now, joining us today is Zynga Blake, mom and social media expert, to weigh in on the subject. Welcome, Zynga! Thank you. Thank you. So excited to be here. Thank yes. you for having you. Yes. Well, I I have a question. Oh, is it okay for parents to follow their children on social media? A hundred per freaking cent. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry. And you know why I say this? Because I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. And things are crazy nowadays. There's mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of um, pedophiles on social media. Mm -hmm. There's there's just so many dangers out there. And if you don't see what's happening mm -hmm. on social media, your kid could just disappear and yeah. you wonder what's going on. Yeah. And you you have to have to monitor what is going on in your children's lives on my, social media. My first question is how old should a child be before? Because there were kids when my daughter was much, mm -hmm. much younger. She's 12 now. Yeah. Much younger on social media. Who accounts, you know. They're and on then accounts the, on Instagram. Absolutely. Yes, like five, six different uh, accounts. Right. Right? I have the same, uh, same issue. I like cousins with little kids. My my niece is 11 right now, mm -hmm. and she wants to get on social media. I told my sister, oh, no. Yeah. I don't think kids should, honestly, I don't. Th it's not a place for children. I think you should be at least 16. At least. 16. I really do. I'm, all, I'm messing this up. I really do. Because it's so prevalent everywhere <sighs> that, in fact, I've had classes where they required me to be online. Right. And this is a, a minute ago. <laughs> well, 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 I guess two, the, two the, three, two three. That's semesters. the harsh reality of this mm -hmm. whole thing, though. If you don't have social media, it's going to be hard for you to even get a job exactly. nowadays. Which is mm -hmm. so that's a double edged sword, right? But when you're talking about children, mm -hmm. I think in terms of like, look at what's happening with depression. Yes. You see, the thing is, we compare we compare ourselves with every other person with their curated lives. Yes. Like, let's be clear. Interesting. That's right. These are the curation of your it's, world. Right. Yes. Your perfect the little world. The of the happy Tommy right. Dummies. <laughs> Well, right, yeah. that's, a, that's an industry term. That I is like industry. That. But it's scientific. It's, it's scientific. scientific. Well, you know, my daughter will come, you know, out into the living room and be like, you know, so and so left me unread, or you know, this is, you know, this person right. came, you know, I have these many followers likes who are, or, you know, who likes and this and that, and she's, you know. She's thinking about those in those terms already. Exactly. And she's 12. And, and she's herself. 12. It, exactly. So you need this validation right. when you should be thinking about other things like, hey, kids, guess what? When we were little, we had something called outside. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I, just was, I was just saying to Don't somebody else. Don't just run out there without prepping yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's the whole, there's going to be this big fiery ball in the sky. Ooh, it, it's it's hotty hot. There yeah, are right. places to sit just ev evident everywhere. Mm. It's going to really mess with you. So jo be careful. Don't just run out yeah, 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 to yeah. verify the reality of this outside <laughs> lot. But what do you think about the Alec Baldwin, Ireland Baldwin situation? What do you think about him commenting on the photo and basically like saying no? He's okay. He's being a parent, mm -hmm. right? I think that was just a, a, a just a quick reaction, um, sure, right? Yes. But if you think about it, because that's one thing that I, you know, sometimes I teach these courses and like especially for filmmakers who use social media mm -hmm. as their channel. With Ireland Baldwin, guess what? She's on brand. She's yeah, a model. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 
That she's is her job. Oh, thank That's you. her job. Thank it's you. what she does. If, you know. And what do you think about publicly criticizing your child on social media? A lot not. of parents have. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen a lot, lot of shaming. Parent shaming. Exactly. Yeah. I was, remember that was a really big trend for a while. It was massive. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, you're bullying your own kid. Yes. But the public shame. It's like shame. Right. It's shame. Like, there's, there yeah. will be no scarlet lettering with me and my daughter. Ooh, like, a literary I just, reference. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am complicated. Wait, Zinga. We asked our friend Alistas, Is it ever okay for parents to follow their on social media? And do you know what they said? They said 80, 89 percent said yes, and eleven percent said no. Which right. is. Interesting because you know for like a year, okay, it was like two years I think. I could, my mother would not, you know, you have to be accepted as somebody's mm -hmm. relative, right? So my mother w would not accept me as her daughter on, on <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> and I had to keep be like, no, mom, because she, she just wasn't, she just, you know, she made the page or uh -huh. we made it for her. My sister probably right. did, <laughs> and she never went on it. She wasn't really interested in it, but I was like, but I am getting clowned on a daily basis <laughs> by all of my friends. They're like, dang, girl, your mother won't even claim right. you, and I was like, I need you to finally. My, my sister sat down with her made her do it because yeah. people but what I find is she Francis will verify this I never scroll down no oh. never so I don't read people's comments so I'll have no idea yeah you know what's going yeah. on and I'm just not as interested but the fact that people especially young people are so focused on how many likes they're getting yeah. and on whether or not people are reading their That's posts right. mm -hmm. I find that amazing because it's like for me it's like it's my page right I don't right. care if you read it <laughs> right, right, right. It's for me. oh I do it's yes. mine yeah. well we have some <laughs> random posts on mm -hmm. kids social media and these are some that we've seen okay the, this is okay I can't, I can't <laughs> this one people. is I didn't choose the thug the thug life chose me. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> you know, but this is the thing the, the, the picture of the child I, don't look thuggy. I know, no, not at right. all. I was actually hoping to see the thug. Is the yeah. thug in the background? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that. I think that there may be some confusion about thug. Mm. That's right. Like she's more. She looks more like like Happy Bunny. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Like she's like, how sweet how she looks. She, she, like she should be in school. Well, oh, here's, right. my, here's my thing too. Doesn't this this follows you for the rest of your life? But, that, okay, that's exactly what I always tell people. This is your digital footprint. Yes. It does not go away. Even if you do delete it, mm -hmm. someone out there took a screenshot of it. That's right. Believe that. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Comment on when you first met me. And then down here, the dad says, nine months before you were born, I brought you on a date and left you with your mom. <laughs> here's another one, an exchange between a mother and daughter, I was sleeping before you rudely interrupted me. And then the mom says, I had a life before you rudely interrupted me. Ooh, yeah. okay. That's a little harsh. Yeah, that's, <laughs> well, it seems like, okay, the, like, there are conversations, like, we can have like this. Yeah. And then there's, like, the, the conversations we have like this. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we seem to be yeah. not yeah. clear about which is which. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> we're, 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 we're transcrossing the, the lines like in Ghostbusters. Right. But I mean, yeah, to Alec Baldwin's point, I think sometimes what happens is, um, I think, you know what, when you have a daughter who's, of course, exposing herself, I think he did that just to like kind of warn people out there that, yes. hey, yo, I still have my eye on my daughter, so yes. don't even think about it. So it's like a, a protective measure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta do what you can do. That's yeah, right. Okay, you gotta do right. what you can do. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Zinga, oh Blake, for being here. Me Time with Frangela. 